Strike Brigade. How you doing? I'm Specialist Joe Padula with the 2nd Brigade Public Affairs Office, and this is Strike Zone. Strike Zone is a TV show dedicated to keeping all of you strike soldiers up to date with the unit's events. I'm going to introduce you to segments involving high-speed training, a what's going on portion of the show, and a look at the regiment's history. So stick around and enjoy all the great stories about, well, about you, the strike soldier. Absolutely. Check this out. Strike Brigade is entering the social networking world. Log into your Facebook and in the search box, look for 2nd BCT 101st. Too easy. You'll be able to connect with your battle buddies, view strike photos and videos, post comments, and hey, even watch Strike Zone. Forget about it. Attending to combat wounds needs to be done efficiently and quick. Specialist Mike Monroe tells us how the 2nd BCT is preparing their soldiers. The soldiers of the 526th Brigade Support Battalion are learning a little of what it takes to be a medic. The Eagle First Responder Class, or EFR, is designed to provide critical training to non-medical personnel for use on the battlefield. The class offers a variety of training, including how to administer an IV and identifying a traumatic brain injury. The training offered to these soldiers could mean the difference between life and death. We are short across the board on medics. Last deployment, we didn't have a lot of medics. And soldiers were going out without medical coverage. And this course is designed to give them the medical coverage that will ensure that people do come back from mission. The EFR course is an update to the standard combat lifesaver course and is specific to the 101st Airborne Division. With the upcoming deployment to Afghanistan, the course was adjusted slightly to cover injuries commonly seen in country. While the course is not designed to fully treat injured victims, the training provided will help to keep soldiers alive until medical personnel can fully treat their injuries. For 2nd BCT Public Affairs, I'm Specialist Mike Monroe. Pretty freaking awesome. Thanks, Specialist Monroe. Great story. And here's a look at what's going on. The brigade is continuing to find ways to take care of its own. Better opportunities for single soldiers, better known as the boss program, offers events like free paintball, free trips to the movies, and upcoming events like Texas Hold'em Thursdays, and free concert tickets to see Jack Ingram January 28th, and of course the big Super Bowl party on February 6th. Let's go Jets. Absolutely. All right, here's the deal though. In order for these cool events to take place, we need boss representatives. So now in the new year, the 2nd BCT is looking for some new boss reps from each battalion. And if you want to be that go-to guy or gal, call the Brigade Boss Representative, PFC Melanie Stokes, at 386-697-6632. That's 386-697-6632. Give her a call. We'll see you soon. Ranger School is one of the most intense courses the Army has to offer. Strike Brigade readies its Ranger hopefuls. The school's failure rate is around 50%, but 2nd BCT is doing its part to raise those numbers. The Strike Ranger Assessment Program is a week-long course designed to better prepare its Ranger hopefuls. Participants are expected to meet Ranger standards in push-ups, sit-ups, chin-ups, a five-mile run, 12-mile tactical ruck march, and a water survival assessment. PFC Seth Radicek with HHC 2nd BCT said the program better prepared him for Ranger School, and he left Fort Campbell more confident. Go get him, Radicek. We look forward to seeing you back with that tab, man. Strike Brigade promotes most is soldier first, no matter the job title. Specialist Mike Monroe explains. Members of Golf Company 1st of the 320th Field Artillery are conducting battle drill training. 
Battle Drill 6 Alpha training is standard for infantry soldiers army-wide. However, the soldiers training today are not infantrymen. Golf Company is comprised of a variety of support MOSs, including cooks, mechanics, and truck drivers. The experience of battle drill training for support MOSs is critical to mission success. We got a variety of individuals training to do this shoot house, which is very rare for FSC, a support company especially. So the opportunity to get to train like this is outstanding. First Sergeant Martin also said that mission readiness will be the key to success during the upcoming deployment. For Second BCT Public Affairs, I'm Specialist Mike Monroe. Soldier first? Absolutely. Thanks, Specialist Monroe. That friggin' rocked. Being a part of Strike Brigade means being a part of something big. Let me tell you, we got some big shoes to fill here. Staff Sergeant James Hunter knows exactly what I'm talking about. In this edition of Strike Zone, we take a look into the history of the brigade during World War II. Sergeant William Carberry served with Echo Company of the 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment. On January 3, 1945, his company found themselves engaged in combat operations against enemy forces near Longchakes, Belgium. Enemy tank and infantry forces attacked the unit. Sergeant Carberry acted as a forward observer directing fire onto the enemy for 36 straight hours. The gallant action of Sergeant Carberry caused heavy damage to the enemy troops and their equipment. His devotion to duty cost him his life and he was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. Sergeant Carberry will forever be remembered for his actions that day and for the lives he saved. You ain't kidding, Staff Sergeant Hunter. Much respect to those who came before us and paved the way. As you can plainly see, the second BCT is always on the move and bettering itself every single day. Hey, thanks for checking us out and thanks for all that you do. And remember, we are Strike Soldiers. I'm Specialist Joe Padula with the 2nd Brigade Public Affairs Office, and I'll talk to you later. If you and your company are conducting anything you would like to see on the strike zone, contact our office at 270-798-9590. That's 270-798-9590.